Greetings, boys, girls, and gender rebels. I'm Penny Underbust, and today I'm doing yet another Forever 21 haul because I really like the clothing from Forever 21 because it's fun. Now, today's haul includes a few items that I got for upcoming cosplays, but mostly it's just cute stuff that I wanted to wear for photo shoots and stuff. Um, uh, that's enough of an intro. Let's get to it. So the first item that I got is this adorable blue skirt. This is one of the items that I got for cosplay. I got this to do Earth Chan, who will be happening very shortly, but it's a little bit darker blue than I had anticipated. Like it's almost black, so I might need to get a different skirt for Earth Chan, but either way though, the skirt is incredibly cute. Uh, the the flow of it is beautiful, and I'm definitely going to wear it, regardless of if it ends up being with my Earth Chan cosplay. This skirt is in a size 0x, and the product and link and stuff will be down in the description box. Same goes for everything. Now, the next item that I got... It's really cute, but Forever 21 is a little bit of a gamble for me when I'm buying online because what the material is made out of really really matters when it comes to if something will fit me or not. Now the shirt that I'm currently wearing for example is also by Forever 21 and it's got Powerpuff Girls on it, it's really really cute, but it's like this kind of thick jersey that has, it's, it's like a rib knit, um, it's like a thick rib knit jersey and this is just kind of, it might even say on the tag, but anyway it doesn't say but like it's just like a rather thin stretchy material so this goes a little bit transparent when it's on me and it doesn't have as nice of a a cut I'm still definitely gonna wear this for photo shoots um, it's pretty easy what I do for a living involves me taking photographs of myself to a ridiculous degree so even an article of clothing that I don't love 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 I'll get a lot of use out of but yeah, I was a little bit bummed that this one didn't have a nicer quality fabric to it. I got this one in a size large and it cost $10.90. I really, really love the rainbow on it. I think that the rainbow is beautiful and I wish I could put that rainbow on a number of other white tops that I have because I just love it so much. It's so pretty. And the next item that I have is actually a bralette or a crop top kind of both. They're both the same article of clothing, to be fair. Um, this is like the ideal best material for me. This is like a spandex, but it's like really thick spandex and it just fits and stretches perfectly. It And it doesn't lose opacity over where it's stretched or, or like it doesn't get transparent over the areas that it has stretched. Um, this is like the ideal kind of clothing for me. I love, 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 love this material. It's the same material that the black bodysuit that I'm wearing underneath my clothing is made out of as well. But yeah, it's just, oh, it's so wonderful. Love it. And the next item is actually also a bralette slash crop top. And um, I was wearing the black bodysuit underneath, which obviously didn't work. So I just stuffed the red bralette that I had been wearing before underneath. So you could see the excellent lace up detail. This is the same material again. It's not ribbed, but it's the same like um, spandex. It's super opaque. You will not see through this, even if it is heavily stretched. Um, this one is also in a size large and it also cost $10.90, but it's so pretty. I really, really, really like this one. I've already done a photo shoot in this one just because I think it's so lovely. So lovely. Reminds me of my 14 year old goth years. 14 year old goth Penny would have been like, that's the best shirt that anyone has ever owned. Put it on my body. <laughs> Only she didn't sound like that. She's more like. That's the best shirt anyone has ever owned. Put that on my body. No, that's Kiwi. I don't even know what Australians sound like anymore, I swear. My voice is just whatever my voice is. <laughs> All right, now next up, this is the shirt that I wish this, the, the rainbow shirt was. This is another off the shoulder shirt and it's got, um, what is it called? Like lettuce trim or like, ugh, ugh, I just love it. And this one isn't the super thick um, spandex. It's just kind of a thin jersey as well. This one isn't ribbed, or it is ribbed, but it's really subtly ribbed. It's more just like a really fine knit cotton. And it, 
fits wonderfully and it's so soft and silky and it just drapes perfectly and it's like heavy it's like a really heavy material I just mm, I love it and I love this little lettuce trim as you can probably tell but like ah ah it's very 90s very very 90s and I love it I'm thinking though it's a little bit plain I'm thinking I might embroider something on it like a little strawberry or a little peach or something and I've actually been thinking lately like I've been wanting to get into more crafting things I kind of want to start my own brand with clothing and those sorts of things but I don't want to just go with a clothing brand that's already out there and have them make me things I kind of want to make my own stuff but I'm um, to start with I'm thinking about maybe just buying shirts that I know are beautiful cuts and beautiful fits and made out of really nice material kind of like from I don't know from Forever 21 or from Old Navy or somewhere where you can buy like a large quantity of basic plain shirts that just have like a good fit and um, then embroidering things on them kind of upcycling them uh, to sell on like Etsy or something I don't know that's just an idea that I've been mulling around with in my brain that I'm kind of thinking about doing but yeah I really really like this shirt really like it and it's only going to get better if I add something cute to it Blah. and the last item is actually my favorite item so far that is this excellent gray knife pleated skirt I also got this one for a cosplay I got this one for a Harry Potter event that is coming up later in the year that I will be attending <laughs> hopefully um, <laughs> but yeah I got this to be part of my Hogwarts school uniform and I love it it's just such a good cut it's such a good fit it's such a good weight it's such a good flow the material is beautiful it's really really simple um, I got this one in a size 1x I probably haven't mentioned the, the sizes of a few. Uh, oh, that's right. This is the only thing I think I didn't say the size of. And it's a size large. Yeah, it's a size large. But yeah, this is a size 1X. And I got, um, I wasn't sure what size I was in Forever 21 if I was a 0X or a 1X. So I got the blue skirt in a 0X and I got this skirt in a 1X. And they both fit me really well. I don't, I don't like, it's always difficult when that happens because I don't know what size I am. I'm just going to have to go with... <laughs> either one of those and hope that the clothing bias is in the right direction but yeah I really like this skirt this is my favorite except for maybe the little the black crop top with the lacing at the front because that's so 14 year old penny but this skirt is also very 14 year old penny she would have lost her shit over that as well so I hope this has been ed edutaining edutaining for you all and you'll have a better idea of how clothing fits at forever 21 on bodies that are not super duper thin um i like that forever 21 does have more diverse shapes in their plus size section on their website but so much of their clothing that is not in the plus size section is something that you shouldn't feel scared to try on they have so many stretch knits so much stuff like one material even though it says that it's the same material as another you might go into the changing room and try it on and go like oh no i look oh i look so terrible in forever 21 size large clothing oh my gosh like uh, just try another one like keep going until you find the right texture of stretch because you might be surprised you might be very surprised that it fits you and looks great and you could walk be walking around in a size medium it's you know I've never really cared about sizes and I don't intend to start and it feels like the world with going the direction of stretched materials more and more commonly sizes matter less and less as time goes by so if you feel uncomfortable with with things like I mean I get it I get what it's like feeling uncomfortable in changing rooms but don't be scared to try things because fuck it you only live once and clothing is fun life's too short to wear boring clothing <laughs> Anyway, that's my whole spiely ranty thing. From the bottom of my little black heart, thank you so much for joining me, everybody. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.